for those who are intentionally decided we want to co-parent mm. the healthy way, mm -hmm. what helped you get there after the anger, after saying this and this? Mm -hmm. uh, what made you get to a point where now we can co-parent mm -hmm. in a healthy manner? I think we sat mm -hmm. and realized that uh, the most important thing or person in this equation is the child. And there's no way this child will have a healthy life if these two parents are always at loggerheads. I grieved Papa for a very long time. Sometimes even now I think about it. I think about him because we were neighbors. Apart from working together, tuli kwa majirani. Family yake bado inaishi, mali naishi, his family is still there. And his sons, his kids are friends with my son. Actually, very good friends, you know. Na papa likuwa napenda mtoi wangu sana. So it's always a reminder when mm. I'll see his wife, when I'll see his car, papa alikuwa na gari moja, ile tu ilikuwa moja distinct. Ile enye kila mtu alikuwa na jua, ayi gari kipita kila mtu alikuwa na jua ni ya papa because alikuwa mechora chora vitu mm. kwa, kwa gari yake. So when I see it, the first person I think about is papa, you know. I would love to have a friend oh. above anything else. Because sometimes, your love, your excitement, your potea. Yo isha. Like, ni kama mtu ni beste yako, u beste ya wezi kuisha. Ujinga uko akila. Eh, hau wezi kuisha. Ata sazile meko sana. You know, when someone is your friend and someone is your true friend, then I will know that this person hapendi ni kimuangeleshe hivi, hapendi ni kifanya hivi. So why would you do that? So, mimi nataka kuambia huu mse mwenye yu ni angali hapo inje, yes. ananitaka lakini ya shindo itakuwaje, uh, usijali, sita kuwachewa majuku muyote. Muga. Uh, kuna hile nitafanya, alafu we utafanya. Na sita wai kukuvunja, you know. Yes, so I would like someone who can bring bread as I bring milk. Mm. Ah, very good morning to you and a warm welcome to LNS Rebuilding Series. My name is Lynn Gugi. Aki, I promise you guys, me, I'm just going to give a disclaimer. I'm about to laugh and be happy in this episode because my guest just comes with beautiful episodes. She even stepped on the show and said, Lynn, Miss Ivivia too. And I was like, let's ground together even if ni kwa carpet. You know, there are those people you grew up watching. There are those people when I was hustling and I would see them and then they would just motivate me. I bumped into her her once in a public event and I could not even say hi because of how scared I was those days but I love her you know we were just driving around Motaiga and I saw a billboard with her in it just the other day and I was like how is this woman so consistent like this woman is so consistent she knows what it is to be in the industry for long and she still wakes up and does her best trust you me when we talk about creatives when we talk about successful people we will never talk about them without her name in it. I am so happy to get to host her. I know she loves me. I love her too. And I hope we have a wonderful conversation and find out uh, exactly how is she rebuilding in her life. Uh, I'm a restoration kwake in a car in 2024. I'm about to let her introduce herself. But before I do that, uh, thank you to our amazing partners of today's conversation. Multi-choice now, guys, uh, they just launched a wonderful series. Series, it's very thought provoking. You know, these things that to know not where the part of justice anywhere. So we try a lot of things. But what exactly are the consequences? You can be able to watch it on the details that are appearing on your screen right now. And also give me feedback. When I see our creatives doing beautiful job, I want to be on the forefront and say, you know what? Go and check it out for yourself. I want to say thank you so much to you guys for being incredible supporters of our work. 21 million subscribers. Me by there I said after we hit 1M subscribers I'm Taniona Wikimzima. Maldives, Sijui Wapi, I'm going everywhere but I appreciate you guys and of course to the incredible team that gets to put this work together. You see me in front of the camera but it takes an entire village. If we were to pan the camera this way you would see them. I love imagining Leo. Everyone 
alikuwa na meacha vitu wanakuja so that they can just come here on set and get to listen to our guests so i'm really looking forward to a beautiful episode but wacha niache kierere without further ado please allow me to let her introduce herself good morning mama good morning good at, afternoon at <laughs> <laughs> thank you for keeping time uh joyce <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's know that I did, that I kept yeah, time. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce, like she, she's here 10 minutes before. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm very fine. How that was you? a very powerful intro. I, you know, I get, I get so emotional, eh? I think in a Kamna Miaka, yeah. 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 like they're just things like you'll see a child sing, Unatkatu, yes. Unatkatu, Unatka Kulia. Yeah. Like, but tears of joy. Yes. I'm really honored by that, by that intro. You know, sometimes you really don't know what you are or who you are or what you mean to people until we meet someone like you. And you say all that and you're like, wow. Is she talking about me? It's so you. I really, I truly appreciate that. It's you. From the bottom of no, my heart. No, true story. I Thank know you. comparison is a thief, mm. but how do we see you and not see Viola Davis, mm. right? How do we see you wow. and not see Angela Bassett? Like, how do we see you and not see all the amazing women in the creative industry? That, like, it's you. So take yeah. your flowers, like... Tulipanya mistake, we should have just had flowers, right? Like real flowers. Yeah. Like take your flowers because wow. you've done it and yeah. that's you. Do you doubt that's you? Not really doubt, but uh, I think uh, we usually say we are our worst critics. Yes. You know we are. Even for you, when you do the show, Sazile una wachile show mefanya, you're like, but everyone else out there is like oh my god that was an amazing show you know yes. then you're like well i'm not doing so bad i'm yeah. okay yeah. so i think it's just that 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 same thing and i really i really appreciate it mm -hmm. yeah good. so thank you take, and it's so good take, to meet you me too <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 you know what, what I, I i think sometimes even when people like you say i love you for me, it's a flex. Yeah. Like, eh. Jackie loves me. Like, <laughs> God, if we introduce yourself, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Jackie Nyaminde. Uh, I am a daughter. I am a sister. I am a mother. I am a friend. And uh, I'm an artist. Okay. If you're in that, in that, in that, in that order, yes. I'm an artist and I'm a radio presenter mm -hmm. at uh, Milele FM. I do the breakfast show and I'm so glad to be here. Yes. On this beautiful set. Thank you. Yes. So we, we got that out of the way. But we you know, that. <laughs> one thing I don't think a lot of people know is that mm. your vocals are also something else. Huh? Yes. You went to Kibian, say, I'm a kid of a life. Bona muku ni prepare ni prepare wimbo. God, I'm a kubariki na yo, the one in your heart. What's the name of your name? Any. Any song? Yes. Ah, there's a friend of mine called Idi Achieng. And uh, there's a song that she sings that is a prayer. And it goes like, Obongo, Obongo nyakalaga e, Obongo nyakalaga masae maneno banda, Aoro lamo, nyakalaga na oro kwayo, Aoro lamo, baba na oro kwayo, Gwednoa, Gwednoa, Gwednoa. And that is despite what I drank or smoked <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, oh my God. I've done, I've done background vocals for her. I've, I've, I've been blessed to work with uh, a lot of artists musically. And uh, I have worked with Idia Ching. I have worked with Makadem. I have worked with an artist called Olithra Tego. I have worked with Eric Wainaina. I have worked with Helen Mtawali. And it's just been a great blessing. Yes. And actually, through music more than my acting, I have been able to visit many places of uh, this world. Mm. And uh, I must say that I'm blessed. When I sit back, I'm like, 
Thank you, God. Because uh, there's so many things that I never thought I would have achieved. Back then, if someone would have told me, Jackie, you're going to be this and this, you're going to go to this and this place, then I'd have been like, hell no. So I keep telling people, take it a day at a time. Ata inaituangwaje ile nini maombi inasema, give us this day our daily bread. Okay? It's not give us this day our monthly, our ama weekly. weekly. We worry too much about what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't even realize what we have today. And I think that's just the sad bit. And I have learned to live that way and I love it. You live one day at a time. I live one day at a time. So sijaribu kuniuliza, where do you see yourself five years from now? <laughs> I never know how to answer that yeah. question. Because I think of today. Leo Nikofiti, I have, I've got good health, my son is good, there's food on my table, my rent is paid, my wife is paid. <laughs> I'm like, thank you God, you know, yes. thank you God for this day. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you carry me like you have today, yeah. maybe even better. Good. And I can tell you, it gets better. It gets, it gets better. better yeah. When did you come to that realization? For me, it's a struggle. Yeah. Me, I'll be worrying about my mom, mm. my sister. Like, it, like, I wouldn't even flex and say I'm mm. there. Like, even me, I just live one day at a time. Yeah. For me, it's such a struggle. Yeah. I worry too much. Yeah. You, when did you get to that realization? I have yeah. today and yeah. I'm going to make it count. Not so long ago. By the way, I just have this friend that we sit and talk with yes. all the time, all the time. And he keeps telling me, I don't understand why you worry. Because me, I was a warrior. Me, me na kwanga warrior. Me kwanza nilikuwa wale wa. <laughs> kwanza, home. Let me say one of my people is there, like my sisters or mm. someone. Then they call me. They used to call me. I used to tell them, when you call me, just tell me. Sasa mama Zola, Zola yuko sawa, nyumba yangwa, kila kitu yuko sawa. Sasa tulikuwa tunauliza, yes. like, because I'd see a phone call from home. My heart just starts beating. My heart starts beating, you know. So the first thing I think about is, is there a problem? So I always used to tell, tell them, when you call me, you have to tell me that everything is fine. Before you tell me anything else. Mama Zola, kila kitu yuko sawa. Zola yuko sawa, mesha kula na cheza. Nyumba yuko sawa. Sisi tumerilax, wakuna kitu shida yoyote. Mm -hmm. Sasa tulikuwa tunauliza. Yes. That's when I can breathe. Then I ask myself, so how long are you going to live like that? Because every time you do that, you're messing your brain, you're messing your heart, you're messing your body. And you're worrying, sometimes you worry about things we have no control over. Mm. So then, what does it help worrying? How does it help? So Mimi, I live a day at a time. Nangalia nga hivi account yangu nasema, okay, huu ni we umebaki na elfu tatu. Yes. Na leo nataka kukula kuku. <laughs> <laughs> ah, natoa pesa na kula kuku. <laughs> na nafuraia. Kesho ijipange. Na mpaka na wapostia kwa Instagram ya mm. ni wekula kuku. Na sayo account umebaki na miya tatu. Mm -hmm. I want to live. I just want to live and not worry. Yes. Because I know that there's a God above who's told us not to worry because he's got us. Mm. So I tell myself one day when I meet him, I will ask him, God, you said you've got me. So what happened? You've got to question God. When you feel like, ah, question him because he tells you I'm your father and I've got you. Mm -hmm. So even in those moments when I don't know what's going to happen, I don't worry. I tell God, God, you've got me. Yes. Yeah. See, I'm your daughter. You got you've me. got me. And you said you have plans for me. Yes, now and you... you have plans for me and they're plans for good <clears throat> and plans to prosper me. Then you do your you, thing. You yeah. got me. Yeah. Good. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Let me go back to the part you said. You have been a back stage singer mm. for some of the big stars that mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I wanted to ask, how does it feel being a second because mm. I, I struggle with that even in the creative industry. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's a lot of, it's something people struggle with. Mm -hmm. You want to be the one who gets to the limelight. You mm -hmm. want to be the one shining. Mm -hmm. But people don't understand there's so much power mm -hmm. being a second. There's so much power working to make sure I see your dream come to fruition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how did that help you and how did that shape your life mm -hmm. knowing it's okay? It's People will talk about Eric. People will talk about this, but I'm the one making it work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm. it's not really the position you're in, but it's what you do with that position. Ju mimi nilikuwa na enjoy, iyo tuku kwa the background singer, the background vocal, eh? 
I used to enjoy, I used to dance and enjoy it so much, yeah. you know, and I'd shine on that stage. There's no single time I'd go for a show and someone, I'd meet people say, hey, that was amazing. Because yes. I'd dance and enjoy it. I have watched movies where someone just came in for a few minutes and, and went on the show. And yeah, and they've left or even a play on stage. And you always remember this one character, this one character. And Ali Kuja for a very short time, you know, you remember this character more than you remember the main. So it's really what you do with that. So I even tell artists, sometimes I am be like, eh, lakini ni mekwa tu niki actizi mavitundogo ndogo na teka kufanya kitu kubwa. Do something big with that small one that you have. Ooh. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I've had a good, even now, Makadem, I was talking to Makadem the other day and he's in Zanzibar. Nikambia, yani if I was in Zanzibar, I'd still just want to do the background vocals for you. That is good enough. And I'd dance and I'd make your show amazing, you know. Because we don't realize that uh, Uyu number two, this number one wouldn't be number one without this number two. Yes. Yeah. So you've got, you've got power where you are. You know, you've got power in your number two. Mm. All right? Mm. Even you as you are. Because when you go up, but you've got a whole team behind you. And you are not lean without this team. Absolutely. You know? Yes. Exactly. So that's just what it is. Do something big yes. with that small role that, that you, you have. have. Yes. Powerful. Yeah. So why don't we have an mm. album yet? from you because they have those vocals yeah. and you know like why why acting yeah. and not music why prioritize on acting radio mm. and not music so i think hapa ni kama nilikuwa na boyfriends wa wili <laughs> right so nilikuwa na boyfriend wa kuimba yes. na nilikuwa na boyfriend ku act. act yeah but it came to be that uh, the acting came and took over you know because then i started getting more gigs za kuact mm. more than za kuimba because you see for the uh, for the music that uh, I do it's not music that you'd easily listen to even on radio so you're probably called when there's an event somewhere yes. so that is how we'd have some time and now Idia Ching does not have a show mm -hmm. so we take some time out and during that time I used to act so I found myself uh, getting more gigs that could act, going for set books and traveling. And so just naturally just came and yes. uh, it came and it, it took over the music. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that if I was called for a show now, I wouldn't sing. Just the other day, Edie had a show somewhere around Langata some time back, uh, courtesy of uh, Nice Gidinji. Yeah. And I went on stage and I sang and I had an amazing time, you know. So it does not mean that uh, I wouldn't take that position still. Mm. If the if the if the chance came, and uh, I was to sing for Edie or uh, <coughs> Makadem or Olith Ratego, definitely I'd be right there. You'd be right there. Yeah. Good. Mm. I love 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 your story, mm. and I want to go back to the foundation mm -hmm. because if there is anything I admire about you, it's mm. your late father. May he rest in peace. Amen. You know? And I was listening to this interview that you did with Bio. I don't know why she's not uploading anymore, but that guy has a gift. Yes. I even wanted to. I'll, I'll do it. Let yes. me not say it. Uh. Nowadays yeah. I do it. You know. Yeah. And I was listening to this conversation that you guys had, mm -hmm. and you were talking about the 25 shilling element yes, right yes. where you you are struggling mm -hmm. as an artist mm -hmm. could you walk us through that part mm -hmm. so that people can be because now people look at you and they're like oh my god will brother she's yeah. a star so yeah. maybe the money has always been there you know yeah. but could you walk us through your foundation mm -hmm. so that people can be able to understand mm -hmm. why gratitude yes. is such a big word for yeah, you yeah true so my dad was uh, an amazing man. Yes. I talk about my dad so passionately. He was an uh, he was a good man. He was a good man. I have not met any friend of my father's. You know, they meet me then they're like, "Are you are you I mean Yaminde's daughter?" I'm like, "Yes, I am." Then they usually stand then they look down they're like your father was a good man your father Mpaka sometimes i sit i'm like yes i know my dad was a good man but funny how good oh, was he me. that every person i meet just keep they all keep telling me your father was a good man then my father was so much into the arts you know my father used to comb his hair for like one hour whoa eh 
alikuwa na kombinyo lake for one hour. And it's so interesting that I have named my son for my dad because my son is called Amin. Yes. Mtoto wangu anapenda nywele yake. <laughs> Sana. Yeah. Of every any other part of his body, he really loves his hair. My father loved his hair very much. So when he'd comb his hair for this one hour, he used to listen to rumba music. Yes. And every time he'd listen, he used to come and tell me, "Now Jacqueline, eh, that is Franco. Now in this song he's saying this and this and this and this and this and this. He's talking about Mobutu Seseko, he's saying this and this. This is Tabule he's talking about this so he taught me so much he was a lover of the arts and he was an amazing mc mm. but you see back then it wasn't it 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 never really aiko ina kuja kama do kama sisi sayuki mc kuna pesa ina kama for him he used to do it because he loved to do it he used to do it for relatives and then you know we'd go to these some of these events then mm. he's the mc and people are laughing sasa kwa nashindwa ah kwani ubuda anasema nini manze watu tu wanacheka tu hapa mm -hmm. he was just a funny man yeah. you know alafu tulikuwa tunamaliza hapo anaomba fair <laughs> na omba fair <laughs> na mc amefurahisha watu kabisa you wamecheka. know eh, watu wamecheka and my dad really supported my acting and it's not that by him coming to the national theater or doing anything like that but any time i would ask him for fair my father used to open his wallet mimi sijui kama alikuwa honest hivyo na hawa watu wetu wengine ama ilikuwa tu mimi mm. alikuwa ngana kama anafungua wallet yake ananiambia you see Jacqueline how much do i have here naambia you have 50 bob sasa hiyo tunaishirongai <clears throat> So alikuwa ngana toka home kitu kama sanne hivi uh, sanne asubuhi. So at that time fare is about 20 bob. Mm. <clears throat> so he used to give me 25 bob, then him stays with 25 bob. Then he tells me this is 20 bob, it will get you to town, okay? Then the 5 bob, hiyo time nilikuwa na ulcers zilikuwa yeah. zinanisumbua sana. Mm. So kulikuwa ngana zile Britannia zilikuwa yes. they are packed in fives. Yeah. So he used to tell me this one, this 5 bob, buy the Britannia and keep it in your bag. Anytime you feel your tummy is aching, mm. chew one. Chew. Imagine huyo ni budangu yani. So then I used to ask him, so daddy alafu, how will we come back home? You should tell me don't worry. God will take care of how we will come back home. There you go. So jioni tukikutana tena kwa nyumba, ananiambia you see? We are back. Home. I told you God will take care of how we will come back home. He was such an inspiration and I think about him and a lot of my friends have met him. My father was such an inspiration. He was such a good man. I sometimes I say I wish he was here to see what his daughter is mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So Budangwa alikuwa wale mahaslawa kwenda pale Nyayo House anajaribu kusukuma passport. <laughs> <laughs> wale wenye kindiki hataki sahi. <laughs> My dad was that eh. So alikuwa anasema anafanya kazi Nyayo House. He used to work at the immigration at JKIA. Then sasa akaanza ku hustle wakati mm. job ilisha JKIA. Mm -hmm. Sasa alikuwa kwa immigration anajua watu. So alikuwa anasema no I work at Nyayo House. Hey. So mimi siku moja nikiana naye Nyayo House nikasema <laughs> Buda ufanye kazi hapa wewe ni hustle. <laughs> You just know people in here, you know. So alikuwa huyo wa kusukuma. So when I got my first gig that was taking me out of the country, my first time to get onto a flight. I was going to Europe. So I went and I told my dad so he was so excited that I organize a passport and he did for a lot of my friends who were in that show. This show I was doing with uh, Mumbi Kaigwa and Keith Pearson, yes. you know. Sasa <laughs> Hii vile alikuwa anitengeneza akitengeneza hii passport nikapata passport. So akaniambia hii passport nitakuwekea mpaka siku zile unaenda. Mpaka kila saa alikuwa anauza. Are you sure you're going to Europe? Yaani he couldn't believe that there was a child of his who was actually going to get on a flight and not just going anywhere, going to Europe. You know, hiyo ilikuwa ile kitambo yenye mtu alikuwa akienda kusoma America, the whole all the relatives have come even from Shags yes. to bid you goodbye. You know those days when eventually now this e show ikaivana and now we are going <clears throat> and i went oh, should have seen the joy in my dad he was so happy he was so happy then now my friends eh, he used to walk on parliament mm. road my dad because he was very clean he was a very clean man so hakuanga na takama likuna uchafu hey. eh budango alikuwa hata kama nataka ku cross hivi na hapa kuna matope ataenda hivi hivi mpaka even used to ask us hey, what is wrong with you can't you see eh? aone hapa kuna matope mbona mnapitia hapo so alikuwa anapitia parliament road there's a friend of mine called kazungu matano yes. 
Kazungu Matano Otos, he will tell you this story. So every time ata wana pitia yo barabara, they used to meet with my dad. So wana msalimia. So my dad every time, time eh, hey, oh you guys are here, eh? You know Jacqueline is in Europe, eh? She's doing her shows in Europe. Hey, yeah, 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 <laughs> Baba, we know. Ah, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Tena kesho akikutana nao. Ah, you, re- you remember Jacqueline is in Europe. <laughs> He was very proud. Yeah. Of him. You know, he was very proud. Of it's him. a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. I would have only come say we give him interesting. And if you uh, met that guy, mm. uh, you would love him. You, so he, he laid, uh, for a woman, he laid a foundation for he you. Did. He, he showed you this is who a real man is. Yes, yes. This is what a real man oh, does, yes. right? Oh, yes. So now, how do you, in your dating life, end up with someone completely different. There is a manual here that has shown you mm. mtu anafaa akutreat hivi. Eh. Mtu asikuongeleshe hivi. Eh. How do you now as Jackie yeah. decide I've seen this with my dad but I'll choose the complete opposite. Akondo mali kuna kizungu mkuti because at a size sina mtu. Kuna kizungu mkuti. Na nitaisema kwa sababu yes Uh, it's not just the example I got from my dad, but from my mom too. Because not even one single time did I see my parents fight. It does not mean that they never fought. Yeah. At some point, we really struggled. How yetu ilikuina fungwa mara mob sana. And over money that I think about now, I'm like, this is money that someone asks me, and I'll send that money to that person. Mm. Nasema hii ndio ilikuwa rent yetu yani mpaka hao ilikuwa inafungwa auctioneers wanakuja mm. wanachukua vitu but i never saw my parents break i never saw them break maybe i'd see my mom crying once in a while but i never saw them break yani like when you look at situations right now if that happened munaachana ama mnakosana inakuwa ni story mpaka ya social media these are the things that we see now and these are the men that we meet I am not saying that they are not good men but maybe I just we just haven't met them yet maybe mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. maybe one day we will yes. you know but when you sit and you look at the men who are here and even the women it's sad because some of us a lot of us never saw that in our parents growing up you know they had troubles but they all held it down they hid it from their children you know mimi najua moments mingi sana zile eh father na mother walikuwa nafika kwa nyumba wamefika karibu saa sita usiku sasa hiyo ndo wameleta food tupike but they always used to tell us no you will eat don't worry you will eat and for sure we eat i cannot remember a single time that we slept hungry na kuna time tu hakukwa na job wote wawili hakuna job mambo tu imesambaratika but they really did they really tried for their <coughs> families mm-hmm. but we don't see that now you know So it makes you very yani kabla uamweni huu msee there's so much you have to look at. Yes. I don't know if it is a positive thing or not, mm. you know. Kuna vitu mingi sana unaangalia. And even for that man who has grown up in that home and wants that kind of woman. There's a lot that he will look at as a man, no, this is not the woman. Mm. Not yet. This is not the person that, you know, I'd want to have children with mm-hmm. or build a home mm. with. So definitely io what my father taught me or my parents taught me has been a major influence in my in my dating you know mm-hmm. ata vile mtu ataniongelesha aintasema hapana i don't think this is how it should be you know it's definitely should be different hata kama kuna mali nimemkosea wacha niite kwa room basi tuisotuko watoi wetu wasiwahi kujua my dad na my mom and dad wameko sana mm-hmm. because we never really know what those things stuff like that what those things do to children mimi akuna kitu nothing gets to me more than it gets to me when couples fight whether it is verbal whether it is emotional whether it's just physical of course it hurts me but it hurts me even more when children are involved like you don't even know the cycle that you are creating mm. and if it, if that is what it is me i'm okay just being as i am hakuna kitu yoyote nimelack you know i keep telling people like i meet people who are so desperate mimi nataka tu kupata mtoto oh mimi nataka tu kuwa na bwana you forget that you are complete as you are 
without a child, without a husband, without a God created you complete. This person who comes should be an addition. You know, you should be happy already. You should be happy already. CRT, oh, I want a man who will make me happy. You should be happy already. The rest you should bonus. have your own money already. You should have whatever you have already. You know, don't depend on another human who breathes like you, who has blood running in their veins just like you, who can leave your world in a split second. Don't depend on this person to make you happy mm. or to create wealth for you. You know, I keep telling people that. Nothing gets away from you just because you don't have a child. Mm. Yeah. It's not a sin not to have a child. It's not a sin not to have a wife or a husband mm. or not to be somebody's wife or husband. So that you stay in an abusive uh, environment because, oh, now you know now I'm the wife or I'm the husband. Don't. Yes. Don't. You only have this one life to live. You only have this one life to live, Lynn. You know, hakuna mtamenda binguni ya karudi ya katuambia, we manze ni menda heaven. Nikuna ni menda ni kapate hiku hivi na hivi na hivi. Hakuna. Nobody. So make your heaven here or your hell here. Yes. That is what it is. Eh. Mi hata sijuika nataka kwenda heaven. Mi labda Mungu aongezeka dai. Juu tena asali tuna maziwa manze. Wa, wait, what? Alafu kukuya kienyeji. <laughs> Mi nataka tu goda sema haya hata hata nimeongeza kwa menu kutakuwa mpaka hata nakukuya kienyeji. <laughs> Nakafisha hapa. <laughs> eh, na kafish na ugali. Hata mwambie sasa goda hapo. Mi sasa tu the land of milk and honey. <laughs> A little more, you know. <laughs> so make your heaven. I got me mother nataka kukuja. <laughs> Make your heaven here. <laughs> or your hell. Or here. your hell. Yeah, you'll make it here. Yes. Yeah. Atutaki siku moja, ati umelala hapo kwa hako kasanduku. Mm. Tunasema, man, haki this woman, she was so unhappy. You know, haki hazi yake tuwa mekwa kimu abuse. Oh, this and this. Then what is there to say? Mm -hmm. There's nothing as beautiful as, as saying, this woman has lived her life. Kama kuda mtamefura ya maisha, ni huyu mwenye melala yes. hapa. Then it is a celebration. Good. Yeah. Did you did you encounter the shame? Or oh, first of all, walk me through the moment you decided to intentionally mm -hmm. be a single mother to mm -hmm. separate yourself mm -hmm. from a toxic environment, mm -hmm. and also what was your role mm -hmm. in it as well? I really don't like talking about it. I'll tell you why. Yes. Because the last interview that I had that was years back. And uh, of course, nyinyi kama ma journalist, you know how to misconstrue. Wow, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So it became something much bigger Good. that even became an issue with uh, my family. Mm. And uh, I really had to apologize. You yes. know, I told them I'm really sorry. This is the industry we live in, and it's very easy to just take things and, and misquote. Uh, you know, and misquote them and turn them mm. around. Right now, as we speak, we have lost an amazing artist, ah. Charles Ouda. You should see everything that's being written about his fiance. You know, it, it's so sad, you know. And some of these things are, the words too zinachukuliwa na zinawekwa pamoja, then everyone is looking at you like, no, you're the bad one. You're the one who must have done this. And you don't even know half the story, yes. you know. So I really don't, because first of all, I don't call myself a single mother. Because my son's father is in his life completely, mm -hmm. completely, you know. My son even visits wherever he is, you know. They are such good friends. Mm -hmm. So I will never call myself a single mother, yeah. you know. It took time before the co-parenting became as Straight. smooth yeah, as smooth as it is. And that's all right. That takes time. Because you are angry. He is angry. There's a lot that's going on, you know. It's life. It is life. But when you guys get it right, and I'm glad that we have, it runs really smoothly, mm. you know. It runs really smoothly. He can even call me in a Tupigetu story. Hey, how is everything? Everything is fine, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it, it has gotten to, to that point. But for me, what I know for sure is, don't stay in a place where your heart isn't. Whether it is a toxic relationship or whether there's just something that does, doesn't feel right, mm. don't. Don't. Look at it and ask yourself, is it worth fighting for? If it isn't, Fight. step. If it's worth it. Yeah, if it is worth it, then, then, then you stay there and mm. fight for it, mm. you know. But it is upon you to decide, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And you will know when it is, you know. 
the heart, the heart and your instincts and your intuition never lie. Mm -hmm. Always follow that. Always follow. Always follow I love that. that. I yeah. love the co-parenting part. Yes. For me, the best thing to hear, it's smooth now. Yes. And you know, have you seen the challenge going on? I am a baby daddy in Kenya. Yes, 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 yes. Of yes, course, yes. I am a baby mama in, in Ke Kenya. Like people are just throwing shade left, yes. right, and center, oh, yes. right? Yeah. And as you said, people are angry. You're angry, I'm mm. angry, right? Yeah. But I'm more interested. For those who are intentionally decided we want to co-parent mm. the healthy way, Mm -hmm. what helped you get there after the anger after saying this and this mm -hmm. uh, what made you get to a point where now we can co-parent mm -hmm. in a healthy manner i think we sat mm -hmm. and realized that uh, the most important thing or person in this equation is the child and there's no way this child will have a healthy life if these two parents are always at loggerheads you know, because a child can know, a child will tell. You know, children are very innocent. So, Baba yake akipiga simu, Mama, talk to Baba. Yes. Then you're always like, no, 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 just finish. The child will wonder, and say, something is off here. But when you guys are not together, you know, as a couple, but you guys are friends and you guys are raising a child together, the child is actually fine. The child is actually fine. You know, that is the thing that we don't get. That when you guys are co-parenting in a healthy environment, the child knows. Because at atasikia unacheka na budake mkipiga story. So the child will know, mom and dad are not together, yes. but they are together for me. They are raising me, you know. Even when he does something and I tell him, you know what, I'm going to tell your dad. Mm. Then he knows, oh no, trouble. I'm going to get into trouble, yes. you know. Yeah. And even when his dad calls, his, his dad will ask, hey, you want to do this and this and this? Have you asked mama? Mm -hmm. So then this child knows that there's nothing I can do yes. that my father will not know about. And there's nothing that I will do when I'm in my father's house that my mother will not know about. There's nothing as healthy as that. What we forget is we put our feelings ahead of what is most important, which is the child. And that's why you find people throwing shade at each other, even on social media. You're hurting your child. So then what is it all for? Wakati responsibility kubwa sana ile mungu amekupatia lean. Si wewe kukua kwa isho. Kama wewe ni mama, hakuna responsibility kubwa kushinda hiyo. That I am a mother. I am responsible for this child that God has blessed me with. The best I can do. The best I can do is to try and guide this child in the right way. Mm -hmm. Is to raise him right. Then one day, even on your last day, You'll be lying and saying, on your deathbed and saying, at least on this one, he at least ni lingangana ni kajaribu. Mm -hmm. You know, I think for me that is the most beautiful thing. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen changes in your son? Yes. When you decided now to foster a healthy relationship with the father, oh, yeah. have you seen changes? In oh, him? yes. Although mtoi wangu anakuanga tu, eh. Mi tu niko tu. Mi niko happy go lucky. Happy go lucky, which I'm so glad about. Yes. But my child is fine. Yuko poa, anafuraia. You know, wakati yuko kwa budake, wakati yuko na mimi. Mm -hmm. He's okay. And he's happy being with both. He has, he's getting the best of, of, of uh, both worlds. Yes. So he's a happy child. I love that. Yeah. For me, honestly, hearing that, yeah. like it's a, it's growth. Yes, it's it is. Growth, it you is. Know? It and is. it's good to hear you can also come from the place where you're angry to mm. the place where you understand yes. what the priority is. Mm -hmm. And I hope even those people who are looking forward into co-parenting mm. get to understand mm. the huge responsibility mm. between the both of you is that child yes. in between mm. but you just touched at something sensitive i don't know i don't know why we have normalized cyberbullying mm. as a country mm. i didn't even want to read what was being said mm -hmm. about shiru mm -hmm. May i think i just took my phone i dm'd her and mm -hmm. i told her just know with my prayers and thoughts are, are, with, you. are with you you know and i don't want to use it mm -hmm. as an example but generally mm -hmm. why have we made it normal to just troll people mm -hmm. and just act like we know people more than they know themselves mm -hmm. and personally as an artist have you encountered that i definitely have i definitely have but I don't know if I'll say I have thick skin 
because uh, I make it a point and I make it very intentional to always remind myself who I am to me. It's not really who I am to people. You have to look at yourself and ask yourself, what do I think about me? You know, you have to do that because it breaks you down. It breaks you down the things that people would say about you. And it actually makes you wonder, where is the, where is the humanness? Where is humanity? You know, vitu watu sema hapa inje mpaka, mi kuna vitu mi usoma mpaka. You know, I have the platform, I'm on air, I do radio. I say it all the time on air. I'm like, when you're typing this thing, when you're typing this thing, and you sit back and you look at it, you actually look at it and say, yeah, this is good. Post. How do you do that? Sijui kama, yani love imetoka kwa binadamu, there's no love in the world to a point that we really don't care. Nobody gives a damn what anyone thinks, how you make someone feel. People just don't care anymore. Mpaka, I was talking with a friend of mine, Mwakideo, and there's a time we were discussing and we were saying, it looks like, the world is getting to a point, you know, kuna, so, kuna, I think like about two times, yes. God may destroy world, alafrikaans are up here. You know, the way, the way a plant dies, Ooh. then a new one comes up, you know? Like, world may fika, tukupale kwa Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, world may aribika kabisa, mpaka it feels like, at some point, God at a wipe out, everything. Then tena, tuanze up here, you know? Because everything is so rotten, everything is so off. Like, this is not the world that God created for us. Yes. It is not the world that God created for us. Like, there's no love anymore. People don't care. I don't care how you feel. Ntakukanyanga na nitembe na niende. Na nikwambie, fanya kitu utafanya. You know, that is what we see. Even in tragedy, you see someone post something, you're like, do you ever think that you are human? That this thing that is happening could easily happen to you? Even what Shiro is going through, for example, because that is the, the latest example that I can give in this situation. Don't you ever lose a loved one? How does it feel? How would you feel if someone reacted to your situation like you are reacting to someone else's? We forget that we are human too, you know, and anything can happen to us at any time, yes. at any given time. Yes. Uneza pigiwa hiyo simu ambiwe ni aje, mm. mtoi wako amefanyika hivi na hivi. Mm. Ama mamako. You know, we forget. So sometimes, like, I look, I'm like, do these people ever go back and ask, hey, manzina, what was that enye I was posting? What is that I've said about someone? Was it right? How have I helped the situation? How beautiful would it be for you to just send a message to this woman who has lost a loved one? And tell them, I am so sorry for what you are going through. I am a stranger to you, but you are in my thoughts and prayers. It gives that person some strength. It makes that person realize that yeah. there's someone who's thinking about me. Someone who doesn't know me at all, but they feel my situation. Mpaka nikona goosebumps. I know. Mpaka nikona goosebumps. Hey, okay. Yeah. Kwanzo mesema, God is about, I felt that. Yeah. Hey, you me, know? me, I felt, I was like, enye, enye, now you've put it into perspective. Yeah. God is about to wipe this whole place. I tell you. You know, and just, he, like, we just need to start looking for Noah right now. Like, yeah. he's just about to. Yeah, he is. He is. Things. Because he looks at the world with everything. And I'm not talking even just the way, about the way, we treat a fellow human. The way you'll treat a cat, the way you will treat a dog, the way you will treat a plant. Let me tell you, anything that you touch and treat good, good will always come back to you. It doesn't matter what it is. There's a time I was listening to Joyce Meyer. Yeah. And she said, there are things that we do that nobody else will ever know about except you and your God. Umengia kwacho, icho haina tissue. Then you have your own tissue. Imagine ukitumia kidogo, alafu bakisha hapo kidogo for the next person who will come. Oh, that person yeah. who doesn't have tissue. But they come into the toilet, they're like, ah, wow, there's a piece here. Only you and your God will know. Because you won't go around and telling guys, <laughs> hey, you know, the other day I even left tissue in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you, that small deed that you do, it goes a long way. It's very small things that you do. The way you treat things 
that God has blessed you with. It could be just even a thing. Maybe ata ni gari yako, maybe ni kikombe. When you treat it right, there's good that comes to you. Yes. There's good that comes to I you. I love that. Yeah. Good, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing, I had one amazing person on the show, Louis uh -huh. Otieno, and yeah. he kept mentioning one thing and it stuck mm -hmm. with me. He lost people he worked with mm -hmm. closely, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So he said, Lynn, nobody ever addresses these things. I've lost an I've lost Catherine. I've lo he lost almost three people who he would, you know what people don't know about the media, you spend so much time with the person you're working mm -hmm, with, you know, mm -hmm. and I know for you, you worked with uh, Papa for mm -hmm. such a long, a long time. time, how have you dealt with that part of knowing mm -hmm. he's no longer here mm -hmm. or did you block it mm -hmm. and then you later realized I'm feeling some type of way mm -hmm. let me now go and grieve and what exactly did he mean to you? I grieved Papa for a very long time. Sometimes even now I think about it. I think about him because we were neighbors. Apart from working together, tuli kwa majirani. Family yake bado inaishi, mali naishi, his family is still there. And his sons, his kids are friends with my son. Actually, very good friends, you know. Na papa alikuwa napenda mtoi wangu sana. So it's always a reminder when mm. I'll see his wife, when I'll see his car, papa alikuwa na gari moja, ile tu ilikuwa moja distinct. Ile enye kila mtu alikuwa na jua, ayi gari kipita kila mtu alikuwa na jua ni ya papa because alikuwa mechora chora vitu mm. kwa, kwa gari yake. So when I see it, the first person I think about is papa, you know. And I see his kids, I see his wife, his death hit me really hard. Really, really hard. It was the last thing. Yes, yes, <laughs> I don't know if you yes. know what I mean. No, I know. Kuna wale watu wakangi kukufa. Yeah. Mpaka unangali yangi unsema, ah! Ati umse, ay, aje. Umse akai kukufa. You know? Now, that is what happened with Papa. It was the last thing we expected. And especially because we had been working together and we were on a set together where we stayed, we lived on that set for a whole week together. We were quite a number of artists who were there. Mm. It was me, Jackie Vike was there. Who else was there that you might know? Joel Otuko was there. There was quite a number of... Uh, Benteke was there. There was quite... And it was an amazing script that we were just starting. It was a new show that was to come on air. So we shot this thing. We were shot, shooting the pilot for a whole week. Na mi hata si kwa kwa hiyo set. Mm. Nilikuwa kwa catering. Mm. You know, we were his people who we'd sit down and write the script with, we'd meet. And we told him, we don't want to be at the front. Si tunataka tu kukua, wale tutakuwa pale nyuma. Wow. So like Jackie Vike was in charge of uh, costume. I was in charge of catering. So tulikuwa kwa jikoni mpaka tunapika. Kwanza likuwa napenda sana food yetu. Because mm. it was me and some lady called Betty. Mm. And we'd cook. And he really, those last, those last months that we were with Papa, writing this script and shooting it. Yes. He was extremely different. He was extremely, I keep, when we think about it, we're like, this guy was, I think he was saying goodbye. He became a very different Papa. Unajua Papa likuwa ngamkali sana. Alikuwa mkali. Au kwa tuneza tuku msalimia hivi hivi vile miu kutanangana watu. Will brother! Mambo! Kwa za likuwa tuwana kurushia macho zingine? He completely changed. Like those three, four months before his passing, he was so different. We shared so meals together. We shared so much laughter together. We became so close. So close, especially because we were working on this project. So we'd meet so many times and write the script and come up with a budget and do what and what and what and what. And it was so different. kabla tukule. And there's nothing that brings us together more than food. You know, food just brings people together. Yes. So we spent so many times, so much time together and so many words and everything. And then you guys have just left the set and then a week later you're being told this without even knowing at alikuwa mgonjwa. Because he died on a Saturday morning, Friday evening at about 7 p.m. He'd come to, he just drove into the estate and he had his shopping. 
and my son and his kids were playing outside. And he called them and told them, get into the car, there's sh some shopping here, and take to the house. Mm. So even my son was like, Mama, are you sure? I'm like, yes. So I'm like, when, I asked him, Kwani, when is the last time you saw him? I just see, we were with him yesterday in the evening. I'm like, really? Yeah, he called us to the car to take shopping to the house. You can imagine how hard that thing hit my son really hard. Even now he still tells me, like, Mama, you know, I really miss Papa. I'm like, yeah, I miss him too, you know. So it hit me really hard. But at some point you've got to sit and say, you know what? It is what it is. I cannot sit in this sad moment yes. for too Forever. long because it keeps taking from you. You know, the sadder you are, it takes from you. It takes from you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it's not a situation you can do anything about it. Yes. Get yourself up. Get yourself up and move. Get yourself up and move. Otherwise, it eats you up. Yeah. So even now when I think about him, it's not in that way. You know, I'll think about him in passing. I'll be like, hey, I really miss Papa. Mm. But I won't stay in that nini for long. Muji toanga in... Kwa hiyo sad moment, I try to get myself out of it as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, where did you learn that? Imagine Getting it's yourself just... out. Mimi naeza ishi hapo for a week. Sasa. Oh, uh, me, I think you need to meet a friend of mine. Yeah. You need to meet a friend of mine. Mimi ata mutu wa ni troll kidogo ni itaka hapo. Na, 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 Mm. Yeye yeah, yeah, ako sawa, hata mm. atarusha mikono, eh. naendele na maisha. Mm. Me be like, hey, hey, hey. Eh, uko tu hapo na mawazo. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Yes, yes. I get myself out. And it's just sitting with people, talking, learning. Sitting with people, talking, learning. You know, life is, it's a lesson. It's a, it's a lifetime lesson, life. So when you sit with people, Take in what, what is important to you. Ukai useme. Yeah, but why do I do this to myself? Like say vile tunabonga. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up. Especially on situations that you cannot change. If you cannot change it, it is what it is. Okay. Say sina do. But there's a client who has told me they are going to give me money. I cannot go to their office and strangle them. I cannot steal. You know? Yes. So, kama sina, sina, ata sahi madhangu wakini pigia simu waniambie, hey, manzea tuna ina, 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 ina. Ntambu ya mami, sahi, sina, lakini nikipata, ntakupatia. Mm. It's as simple as that. I don't have it. So, ata nikifikiria simu, wa, sina pesa, sana tafanya nini, wa, 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 wa. Haiko sahiyo, ita come. It does not mean that that situation is permanent. Mm. Ita come, lakini sahi, sina. Yes. That's it. Relax. Mungu anajua hauna, Si anajua hauna na nojua kuda vitu na itaji. Mm. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Unona ile kitu wanasema kwa Bible ya faith. As tiny as a mustard seed. It's very true. Me, I have seen it. I have seen it. And I'm working on it. I'm growing it. I'm growing it. I've told myself, you're going to put all your burdens on this guy. <laughs> you're going to put your burdens on this guy. Because mm -hmm. he tells you, put them on me. Yes, I will work. It does not mean itakwa kwa kitanda ni kilala the whole day. I'll do what I gotta do. Mm. Okay? At the end of the day, ntakani seme, eh, jaki umenda job, umefanya ina, 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 ina. Lakini leo ijajipa. Haijajipa juu you were lazy. Haijajipa juu, haijajipa tu. Today was just not that day. But you have done what you had to do for that day. That's it. That's it. Yeah, God has seen and recognized your efforts for that day. Don't beat yourself up too much. Mm. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. I love that. And comparing ourselves to people. Wa, sasa nania nende shahikari. Sasa nania naeshi hapa. Kwani ni nini yu anafanyanga yenye mimi sifanyi? Watu anafanya vitu fani hapa inje. Iso yobide na karanga watu. Watu anafanya vitu fani hapa inje, Lin. I know that you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you see, especially this young generation now wana come up. I want to get it so fast. And say, hey, mazi, mina tika kudrive dinga kayo. Hey, hey, mina tika. Ujui yo dinga imetoka wapi. Mm -hmm. Ujui yata kama yo dinga ni ya huyo mtu. Yes. Hey, hamechukua gari, hamekuja kuflos. Wewe unangangana ukivunjika miguna, shingo na mikono. Ukitaka yo gari. To get there. Yeah, atijuna tika kukaa kama mtu mm -hmm. fulani. 
Let me tell you, in social media is a big hoax. There are so many stories that we know of people. Ni tu vile atuta zisema. Yes. Lakini ukiwaona kwa social media, you see that everything is all good and rosy. Perfect. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Stick to your lane. Mm. Live your life. Do what you've got to do. As Jackie, as Lynn, wefanya ile nyunaeza. Wacha kuangalia watu. Te ita kuchanganya. Te. Eh. Stick to your lane. Stick to your lane. In an era where only a less percentage of you mm. are still driving mm. you know i've had the privilege to host artists here charlie abel mm. phil there's just a, a less percentage mm. of you that you know it's like you remained grounded mm. what did you do right i don't know if it's something that i did right or mm. just whatever how life went or what life threw at me yeah because uh, mimi nikianza usanii nimeanza usanii kitambo kidogo yes. na we started uh, when we were doing the arts we started with stage mm. there's something about being on stage and there's something about doing set books yes set books mulikuwa mnaenda mahali mko kisi na show imehata na hamna do so mtajipata <laughs> melala kwa lodging yes lodging yes. melala kwa lodging hata kama ni ya tatu. melala kwa watu wa saba kwa kila room so we went through so many of those things then we still we still wouldn't give up up of the melala still the next day you're going to look for a school to do a show these are just some of the things you know still you'd go and look for another school now maybe that day you guys will hit a jackpot yes. maybe you guys get 10 or 12k so you guys stay bado mnaka kisi munaendelea another day you go to another place you haven't gotten a show you don't even have fare to come back to nairobi so you tell yourselves we have to go to another school and do a show and get money from that school so that we can get fair. When you go to that school and you have gotten fair, you tell yourselves what are we going to do in Nairobi? Yes. Let's stay here and do more shows. So it built some sort of resilience, you know. It built a hardness in us. And because we had love for that theater, we wanted to be there. We had nothing to show for it. I can tell you wale wasani wa kitambo most of us had nothing to show for it but we still stayed there we still stayed there because we had love for it mm -hmm. so whatever it is that we have now came gradually it took time it took time ndo wone eh oni jakivike huyu amenunua nini amenunua jeep yes jakivike alikuwa dancer uh, by the jacky acha mchezo hebu ambia jacky ya mister vike you have to come to you this thanks. show <laughs> kuja promo tu madam <laughs> ameshindaki ni chenga tu acha eh hey, bana she knows ni kutoka hapa nitampigia simu ni mwambie yeah yeah she was a dancer she was a dancer eh hey, alikuwa ngana dancing kwa namuona hapo akitembea na migutupu hapo theater wakifanya tizi hapo theater akimaliza ni kutembea mnatembea mpaka railways Munaenda mnafanya nini? Yes. Mnapanda matatu na mnapanda matatu mm. kwa ujumla, mm. you know? So hizo vitu zili to build tukajua eh ndio vike akwa anaendesha hii gari ameichangia. She has worked for it. Amekuja kafanya hii giga, amekuja vitu kubwa hazimshtui, you know? Hizi vitu everyone is admiring and everything. Hazimshtui because she has a journey kuna mali ametoka. And it's the same for all of us. Kuna mali tumetoka. So hiyo kitu haitushtui. So ako kagari ukikapata unai treasure unai treat fit you know because unajua mali imetoka unajua imechangia for how long ako ka rent kako unajua because unajua mara mingi umefungiwa nyumba hii generation ya sai most of them they are so lucky because people have now they have social media it's as simple as posting a funny thing on 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 TikTok and you are a star the next day it's trending and it's being shared on whatsapp and everywhere we didn't have that yeah, yeah when we started yes so it's 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 quick money it's quick money it's easy money and because it's quick money inaingia na inatoka inaingia na inatoka you feel like mimi naona vijana wadogo tu wako hapo tu na dinga yake kubwa 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 so unapata mtu hajui ile struggle kama yako There's nothing wrong with umeangukia ni gig umeangukia deal mm. na umeendesha yes. umepata gari kubwa. Yes. There's something different with you having worked for it kutoka huko. Nime work nime work nime work nime buy bike. Nime work nime work nime work nime buy pikipiki. Nime work nime work nime work nika buy 
Kavit, there's something about that journey. There's something about that journey that inakufanya utulie. And also seeing that vile umeipata ndo vile unaweza kuilose. Always remember that. Always remember that. Me that is why mushi wangu wa if losing inakuwa kwa social media mimi kwa zile za. Ah. Hii kituko nayo you can lose it at any time. You can lose it at any time. You know? Hiyo dinga yako inezaibiwa. You can get an accident god forbid. Anything can happen. So usikwe ii kuflos mi hiyo kuflos mi ni mshanga sana unaona mtu ameka kwa meza na yuko na mamilioni yuko na mado ameonyesha na mado hey kitu inaweza kukugonga tena hiyo pesa ishe tena wewe ndio unakuja kuambia watu nisaidieni baby eh hey, pastor kiuna si amesema hapa litibiwa nini cancer it was 489 or 400 and something million 400 and something million kutibiwa so wewe uko hapo una flos hapo ukisema vile uko na do Let me tell you shit can hit the fan so fast. When you sit and you think about that, then you're like hata siwezi hata kusema mimi niko na do. Ju ido inaweza kuisha na bado nirudie wale watu nilikuwa naringia. Niwaambie wa nipatieni msaada. Because how much money is how much money is a lot of money? What is a lot of money? Tell me. How much is that? Is it 200 million? Is it a billion? How much is it? If Steve Jobs with all the money he had kwa deathbed yake alisema sai na kaivi na realize everything that i have haina maana anything that you can put a price to yes. is not valuable anything that has a price is not valuable it can it can inaweza kukutoka hivi so sit back sit back you know hii mambo ya kuflo hii social media inatuchanganya sana yeah hii kuflo si tuna flo tunaonyesha na eh niko na igari niko na hii nyumba niko na hii uliza mtu wa embakasi mwenye alikuwa ameshanunua mpaka nyumba amechomekewa juzi ama wale wase walikuwa mebuild nyumba zile zilibomolewa athi river umebuild hao yako inakapoa Unaona tu bulldozer ndio hii inakuja ninangusha hao yako and there's nothing you can there's nothing you can do about it There's nothing you can do about it. What are your life principles? What principles do you live by? Me I think ni too easy vitu na zungumzia hapa, you know. Humility, humility I think is one of the major things that we should live by. It doesn't matter what you have or what you do or who you are. Humility, hiyo humility in a grounding mtu in a very interesting way. You know when you humble when you show love towards people towards animal towards plants whatever it is you know always be humble always think about that you know and also treasure the people that are around you those true friends that you have the family that you have au ndo watu hizo ndo vitu muhimu kwa maisha not anything else that you can buy not anything that you can buy with money you know ile wimbo nani aliimba inasema yote ni vanity mm. ni ukweli imagine yote ni vanity na i think ni too easy miaka zangu whether ni mingi ama ni kidogo because there are people who are older than me you know easy miaka nimeishi they have taught me that it is all vanity it can end in a split second you know it can end in a split second yeah yeah humility yeah humility i love that. humility yeah mm. Life yeah. life imekuwa kitu ingine. Life imekuwa kitu ingine. Ah. Imagine ukiishi na usome na usome story za watu. Wewe ukanga hivi unajifikiria unasema wa eh hey, Mungu manze kama kuna mali nimeblanda if there's a if there's a time I've tried to show myself I hey, forgive me. Na nisaidie ku, kuweka a stop. Ni na governor yenye ananiambia eh hey, ni kwa na speed governor ile anambia pana you're moving too fast you're going too fast you know yeah 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 i like oh that's interesting yeah. huh? remain grounded <laughs> remain grounded kuwa tumpole kuwa tumpole imagine <laughs> kuwa tumpole mm, eh. good yeah. now let's go back to dating a little bit eh sasa ona atikwachi wende bye
Hatuachi, hatuachi uende. Given that you've experienced different relationships or maybe a relationship, what uh, what would you do right this time? And what kind of person mm. is now your ideal person? Give mm. from the experiences. From the experiences. Had. Yes. Sasa, mimi tena... I want someone who's tall, dark, handsome. <laughs> so for me first, uh, I would love to have a friend oh. above anything else. Because sometimes, your love, your excitement, your potea. Yo isha. Lakini kama mtu ni beste yako, ubeste hawezi kuisha lini. Ujinga huku akila. Eh, hawezi kuisha. Hata sa zile mmeko sana. You know when someone is your friend and someone is your true friend, then I will know that this person hapendi ni kimuongelesha hivi, hapendi ni kifanya hivi. So why would you do that to that person? Yes. So me, I think the first thing is, uh, I would love to have a friend. I would love to have a friend above anything else. Mtuneza kutana nae na tupige story the whole night. Na hata tusifanya kitu. Tupige story na tucheke na tuone movie na tulie. That is the first thing that I'd probably look for. Mi napenda watu wa napenda God sana. Because napenda kuongea kusu God. Napenda kuongea kusu Bible. Napenda kuchallenge Bible sana. So napenda nga mtu yuko open minded. Tuneza kukana tu challenge Bible seme ya ye. Ati alafu, alikuwa nitu Elijah. Ehe, akaenda na chariot ngapi? Ngumi. <laughs> zika panda. Hose ndio hizo zina panda zikienda juu. <laughs> you know, and in a beautiful way. Yes. Because God alikupatia brain. Utumie. Ndu utumie weze kuchallenge. Kami nge kwa God anakupatia kila kitu. Basi anje kupatia yes. brain. Ame kupatia brain. So that you can also question. It is okay to question. So I want someone like that. I love to travel na penda nataka msie yule ana travel. Nataka msie yule nikileta maziwa alete mkate. Yes. I will definitely bring milk. Eh, nitaleta maziwa sitakuachia kila kitu. Nataki eh, sprinkle sprinkle. Haitawahi kufanyika. Yeah. Hata saa hii tukienda na wewe lunch. <laughs> I to tell you for sure. Me. Eh, nitakwambia you do this. You buy the drinks. I buy the food. I will buy the food. So, mimi nataka kuambia huyu mse mwenye yu niangalie hapo nje, yes. ananitaka lakini anashindwa itakuwaje, uh, usijali sita kuachia majukumu yote. Muga. Eh, kuna ile nitafanya, alafu we utafanya. Na sita wai kukuvunja, you know. Yes, so I would like someone who can bring bread as I bring milk, mm. all right? Then I am a mother. So naweza takamsi yule pia atakuwa a good example to my son. Staki ya kuwe baba. Mtu yungu yuko na baba tayari. Yes. But I want someone who can be a friend to my son. Beautiful. Yeah, mtu ule ya mtu yungu aneza shika simu wa mwambie. Hata staki ya muite father. Yes. Hata aneza tuku muita whatever jina ya yeah. kiz. Wa mwambie, hi Jonathan. Hey mama. Hi, anaitua Jonathan. Ah, oh. Oh. <laughs> na imagine tu. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Tu. Can you imagine how funny it would be if I ended up with a Jonathan? <laughs> You know that is how interesting life is. Yes. You, what's his name? Jonathan. Jonathan. But you spoke about a Jonathan. Manifestation. Manifestation. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. Mtu yule, yeah. anazambia mtu yuangu wapana. Hii fanya. Na mtu yuangu watamsikiza. Because he's a man of value. Ni mtu yule, mm. akikachini ni mtu. Ni mtu yule aneza kuwa mentor. Yeah. Yeah. And not just a mentor to my son. Even to me. Just as I can be a mentor yes. to him. You know? Yes. So I think for me those are the things I'm looking for. Hizo mm. physical zitakuja baadaye. Hizo physical is just an added advantage. Mm -hmm. And just like I said, hiyo handsomeness yake pia inaweza tu kuisha. Inaweza kuisha anytime. Mm -hmm. So mimi ukinipenda kwa sababu ya beauty yangu, nitoke hapa nje nikgongwe na boda, so hautanipenda tena. So you have to look, don't see, ni nini unapendea huyu mtu? So for me those are the things. Those basic things and these things that we talk about. Unaona kama hii conversation we are having with you. I would love to have a conversation like that with that person, you know. Then those are the things that would bring us together mm. because we look at life in one way. Good. You know. So I think that is it for me. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe kutakuwa na zingine zile nitaona zitakuja. Yes, but, but basically yeah. Priorities. Eh, I just want a good person. Nataka I just want a good human. Do you feel pressured? 
to Pressure. have one never ever Never ever. Never ever. ever Mimi hata ikikuwa tu ni hivi ndo vile itakuwa. We are good. We, we are good. We are good. Mimi hata hizo comments hata wacha ni sema sahi. <laughs> Sasa zingine mimi weka ngao nimeweka picha unaona mtu amesema wewe mama umeshazeeka. <laughs> Utapata bwana siku gani? <laughs> They don't bother me one single bit because just like I said Mimi as Jackie I am complete as I am. I am complete as I am. Whether nitakuwa na miaka 60, whether nitakuwa na 70, I am complete as I am. Yes. Mtoi wangu amekuja tu kuongezea. Huyu bwana ama boyfriend amekuja tu kuongezea. Lakini si ati maisha yangu atiko hii around. Ha, sina pressure hata mm. kidogo. Hata mama yangu hajawahi kunipatia pressure. We ni nani? Na furahi. Hata yeye uniambia, angalia Jackie uko tu poa unaishi maisha poa. Uko tu kwa kaka hao kako, uko na katoi kako, you know? kutuna kagarika kuko tu poa imagine yeah. eh hey, anambi si wai jali maisha saini had utapata msee wanze kuishi na yeye akwambie eh hey, okay hizo mambo za pieta pieta timunenda Mombasa mnenda Mombasa siku ngapi tie tunaenda tu siku tatu anze kukupatia pressure hizi mambo zako za kusafiri safiri ati munenda ku act eh si kwa hao yangu <laughs> utafanya <laughs> utafanya nini you because saw. that happens in our and i have experienced that myself you know alafu mimi manager wangu ni mwanaume Ati munaenda na nani? Ananaenda na nani? Ati wewe tu na yeye? Naambia sisi si ndio tunaenda job. Aje. <laughs> <laughs> Anaambia anga ikifika hapo aenda tu njia yako. Mm. Yeah, so me stack your pressure. You know? Kama itajipa itajipa iko tu sawa. Na kama itajipa kama pia Kama haitajipa mimi niko sawa sana. You are full as you are. I am full as I am. I can tell you for sure that I am full as I am. And I hope and pray that other women out there realize that men and women not even wacha nisiseme tu women peke yake mm, mm. men and women i hope that we realize that that as humans we are whole as we are you know usikwe place at unakuwa place kwa sababu ya pressure uko place kwa sababu yes. oh marafiki zangu wanafanya oh mimi sina Hakuna mali hata kwa Biblia inasema kama hauna bibi ama bwana hautaingia mbinguni ama kama hauna mtoto hautaingia mbinguni. Mm. Hata Mungu akuweka pressure. Hata Paul alisema kama unaweza usioe. <laughs> <laughs> kama Paul alisema <laughs> kasa kama kama inawezekana usioe sijui ni chapter gani sijui wapi yes, wapi. Yes. But he says it. He says kama kama unaweza usioe. Lakini kama unajua utakuwa kiruka juu guna njia hayaoa. Mimi si kiruka so, mguna njia so niko tu sawa. Nafuata Paul. Hivyo ndio alisema. Hivyo mimi alisema. Hakuani <laughs> amirukash. Mimi si kiruka niko tu sawa. Andika <laughs> Biblia. <laughs> yes, mm. and uh, let me address another thing before I let you go. Mm. The saving, the saving culture because mm. again you see people they have gigs, they've touched good money mm. but they have nothing mm. to show for it, you know. Mm. You you have stability. Kuna tutu tutoa kote ko in order mm. what helped you do that sina tamaa ya pesa yeah. napenda pesa kama tu mtu mwingine yote because pesa ndio inatufanya tuweze kuishi pesa ndio imefanya niweze kufika hapa mm. pesa ndio imefanya uko hapa mali uko na uko na timu yako yes. you know lakini isikuwe ni inakuwa ni mpaka inakuwa ni kama ni ulafi juu kuna nyingine inakaa ni kama ni ulafi you know mimi kama niko na ya hiyo siku na niko na kidogo ile nimeweka kando. Yep. Niko tu sawa. Nikipata kazi na nipate hiyo hela. Nawekanga kando. Kuna ile yangu kidogo naweka kando. Mimi si mwanabiashara. Siwezi siwezi kunini, siwezi kukaa ni uzenguo. Nilijaribu kufungua hoteli ikaanguka na mapua. Because no. unajua we ni msanii eh. So uko huku umeenda huku uko na kuru uko na ivasha huko sijui kisumu uko wapi. So hoteli yangu walikuwa na nibia walikuwa napika mandazi zao. Mm. Wanakamkuza. Mm. Na shinda hizi mandazi zangu mbona ziendi. <laughs> you know? So I try as much as I can to keep something aside, okay? And I'm always getting investment advice because I I have whatever I have kept in different places, you know. So mi uka chini na watu wale watu wale wameinvest na wale waku, watu wako kwa hiyo financial advisors and stuff yes. I will sit down with them and ask them so I have this amount of money where can I keep it ataniambia weka kwa bonds weka kwa sako weka hapa na hapa 
that is where I keep my mm -hmm. money, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I keep what I can. Sinanga pressure. Stucky pressure, mm -hmm. you know? Ile maali mejipa na nimeweza kueka. Naweka. Na nashukuru mungu ya kwamba amenibariki. Yeah that niko na kitu ambayo nimeweka kando kuna vitu kidogo kidogo nimenunua hapa na pale zenye sahi if anything happened najua naweza kujikwa mwa na hiyo yeah because nothing is permanent kesho mdosi wangu anaweza niambia eh hey, awilo tena hizi miaka zako yes. 37 yeah, wait, wait, what kuna mali umefika sasa inabidi <laughs> okay see 37 <laughs> <laughs> you know na hizi miaka zako sasa inabidi tukutoe yes, we bring tulete mtu mwingine kitu wote inaweza ku happen mm. anytime na hata hizi gigs zetu za social media Sine it's not a guarantee eh inezaisha there are moments when you stay for a while bila Yota kupata gig. a social media gig mm. you know mm. na kuna wakati zinakuja zinakuja hata tano yes. you know so hizo zikikuja tano usisahau zile months huko nazo mm. so weka weka because a time will come when they won't be there so when you think when you think that way and always never be afraid to ask for advice you know when you meet and sit with people so where can i put my money God. you know what can i do with this mm. that i have you will always get advice God. yeah you will always get advice yeah usiogope kuuliza usiogope kuuliza usiwe ogopa kuuliza yeah beautiful mimi uliza hata zile swali mtu anaonanga ni swali ya kijinga mimi nauliza kwa sababu zinanisaidia yeah they mm -hmm. help me beautiful yeah mm. uh, highest moment of your career most wow. memorable most memorable mm. eh hey. ni mob eh hey, ni mob ni mob but i think mimi ile kubwa yenye imefanya hizi zingine kubwa zikakuja yes. ni mimi kuingia papa yeah. i think for me that is the highlight of my career mimi kuingia papa ndio ilinitoa nje na ika bring many other high moments i have had opportunities to travel mm. to work with big clients you know nimefanya kazi na unilever hata sasa inafanya kazi nao nimefanya kazi na safaricom these are big brands and i'm eternally grateful so for me hizo ma highlights zimetokea na hii opportunity moja yenye papa alinipatia mm. yeah so i think for me that is the highest moment of my career mm. so far so far. so far because i don't know what uh, you know the world holds for me mm -hmm. in in future yeah. but at the moment that is mm. the highest that i have mm. that i was i got that opportunity to get into papa and through that i got so many other gigs kuna vitu mingi nimefanya hata kwa familia yangu hata mimi kivyangu so nashukuru congratulations asante sana lowest moment Lowest moment kwa career i think mm. for me lowest moments ni easy moments when i have lost loved ones si zile time si kwa na do because kukosa do ni vitu ni kitu inafanyika kawaida hata watu wale wanafanya biashara mm. kubwa kubwa mm. kuna times tu anapata hana na hana na mambo imeenda mm. vibaya you mm. know so for me those are not low moments but for me i think it's just the loss of loved ones those are usually low moments like mm. ile kubwa ni kama ya papa yeah. you know yeah kama ya papa hiyo ilini mm. hiyo ilini gonga yeah. ah ilinifanyia ile kitu mm -hmm. mm, ilinifanyia ile kitu mm. so for me those are those are the low moments okay losing artists that you really treasure even now huyu msee huyu msee umse alikuwa mkubwa <laughs> you know he was amazing he was a force in this industry he was a force in this industry you know and to have it happen so suddenly so unexpectedly yeah ni noma ah, that, that, ni that noma. one yeah ah, even yeah. right now in a pair i know i know in a pair yeah. mtu zile sana sana mm, sana mm. sana mm. yeah yeah but i love how they always felt loved you know yes. like at, at least that kama ime happen yeah. people know at least i'm happy to mefika hiyo stage yeah. ya ku celebrate people when they are still here yes, yeah. in me i don't want to take another moment and mm. be like i knew jackie she was amazing i want to yes. tell that to you right now right you're amazing yeah. you know yeah. you're doing great you yeah. know may god bless you like mm. you have changed the industry like you've paved way for so many women yeah. like so many women and so many young girls. You, know, you took a role that was so simple mm. and you made it so big oh, again 
to the big thing with mm. that small thing that you have right yeah, there you yeah, know true. yes mm. who are you looking who, who which actor mm. have you wanted to work with that you have not worked with yet i'm here yes uh let me see yeah Sijui kama kuna msanii anaweza sema ti huyu huyu sana ndio nataka kuwa na ye. Yeah. For me I think any set I go to na napata msanii mpya whether ni msanii najua ama sijui it's always Aww. exciting. It's always exciting because they have something there's something that uh, you will get from them and there's something that they will get from you. Hakuna set yote nimewahi kwenda nikatoka huko the same way I went in. I always leave with something. Hata tuseme niende nikutane na msani mwenye kuna kitu amefanya na maybe ni msani yule hajaleta raha because kuna wasanii pia utakutana nao tu na utapata eh unapata tu ni kisirani. Kuna kitu utakume learn from hiyo kisirani yake. So it's always it doesn't matter which artist it is you know mimi nimefanya kazi na wasani wale wakubwa nimefanya kazi na wasani wadogo wote and all the time i always go there looking forward to you know working with this person because there's something that i'm going to take kuna kitu ile itaongezea kwangu and i always hope and pray that even i will have left something in them that can help them grow to the next step that's so profound oh yeah oh yeah that is so profound. Yeah. No matter what the circumstance no you learn. No matter what the circumstance. Hata sahi nikitoka hapa. There's something that I have learned, you know. There's something that I'll carry with me mm. that will make me treasure this set and yes. remember this show. Thank you. Yeah. You learn. Yeah. I hope I've treated you with kindness. Oh, you have. <laughs> Imagine from the moment I walked in. I hope this is the last thing to kwa yeki sirania lini. From the moment I walked yes. in. And there's something I wanted to talk about. Vile kwa tunaongea story ya Charlie. Tuonge. Yeah? That is something I would like to encourage someone with and encourage myself with as well. So in this moment, you know, we are in quite a number of uh, art groups, you know, and of course that is the discussion as everything is uh, being laid down yes. uh, before he's laid to rest. And someone commented and said, man, you guys, you know, we have to celebrate these people when they're alive. We have to give them their flowers when they're alive. And I told this person, he knew he was good. He knew he was good. And we told him he was good yes. people have told him his fans his he knew that he was good mm. all right so it can never be enough you know the moment someone passes on you always feel like i should have done more it doesn't matter how old they are hata siku zile mtu atakufa na 100 you always feel like wow i wish ninge mwambia let us not beat ourselves up too much when we keep saying no give your flowers there are people that know and we give it to them but it can just never be enough. Hakuna time mtu atasema ah huyu amekufa the right time at the right place ah hiyo tumeshamnini imetosha. Hakuna siku itawai kwa hivyo. You'll always feel like I wish I did more. It's human. It's human. You always feel like I wish I did more. I wish I could do more. Don't ever feel like I did not do enough. Hapo mpaka mali ulifanyia. Hapo ndo mali nilikuwa inafaa kufikia. Haingeenda beyond, you know? mpaka hapo hapo ndio mali yes. ilifikia because we always feel like what hey, hey manze did he know did she know that tulimpenda it can never be enough it can never be enough mm. because death comes suddenly even ndo vile hivyo tu ndo vile life iko so usiwaifikirie si kufanya enough mpaka hapo mali fanya it's enough it's good. and also another thing appreciate yourself always appreciate yourself when you appreciate yourself when you appreciate what you do you have to be your first cheerleader lazima ukwe wewe ndio wewe ndio unajichia kwanza before other people can cheer you mm. okay mm. so you have to believe in yes. yourself you have to love yourself you have to love what you do that is why it shouldn't be a big issue like miss zingine mtoi wangu yeye niuliza so mama sasa zingine wewe sikiangaje ukipost kitu ume post maybe ka video kafani lakini haijakuwa na zile comments mm. eh hey, maybe imekuwa tu na tu comments kadhaa 
haitawahi ku disturb mm. mimi nikiangalia hiyo video na cheka anga kuisha <laughs> i will find myself laughing how twenty wa mnye wame comment ndio hiyo ilikuwa how how iko tu sawa how twenty iko tu sawa because we are so disturbed by what people will say on social media social media you know you so disturbed that umevaa nguo umefika mahali hakuna mtu amekuambia uko smart Lini uko smart ukitoka kwa nyumba umevaa hivi ukijua uko smart. Yes. Hiyo kwanza. Jiambie. Eh hey, wewe jiambie wacha mwingine akuje tu aongezee. Because utafika mahali umevaa then watu wakuambia unashindwa wa. Maybe I should have worn a different shoes or maybe I should have done this, you know. You start giving yourself self doubt, self doubt. And those are the things that it culminates into something even much bigger. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. Jitia, cheer yourself first before other people can mm. cheer you, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. So that don't wait for validation from, from other, other people. people. Yeah. Don't wait for validation from other mm. people. Eh. Hey. Wewe ukitoka kwa put your head up high, walk straight. Wewe unajua wewe uko sawa. Mtu akiongezea, then smile and tell them yes. thank you. Eh. Hey. But wewe mwenyewe unajijua. So kuwa mtu ambaye unajitambua. Mm. Oh yeah. I love that part of flowers because yeah. I feel like there is a lot of <laughs> there is a lot of kuna venye wasewa na feel mm. ni kama tu kumwambia he is enough. Mm. Mm. You know but he knew. He knew. He knew. Na wale walimwambia, walimwambia. Walimwambia. Wale walimwambia, mm. walimwambia. Mm. The whole world will never appreciate what you do. Period. Yeah, the whole world will never appreciate what you mm. do. Yeah. Mm. Kuna mtu tu anakaanga TV anasema eh wewe wacha oh, show Alin mimi yo show na mimi nimekuja hapa nikakwambiaje I take so much from your show and I use it yes. on my show na kaende yeah. kaende yeah I use it so yeah. much you know I'm learning that yeah. I'm la- me I'm learning mm. me by yeah. the way me first I I think what helps me I don't want validation mm. me I'm doing exactly what I feel like doing exactly. whether to fit and ajua sasa nataka tufike 1 million subscribers mki subscribe yes. I'll be happy yes. but even if we don't get there there's yeah. not a day I've said I will not go and do what I love because True. we are not at 1 million exactly. subscribers oh, yeah. you know yeah. yeah but me I want you to know you've really been amazing Thank you, you so know much. and I know you know yeah. and that's the difference yeah. now you Thank already you. know you're good yeah. you know yenye tunasema sisi kwetu ni bo ni bonus mm. because you've told yourself that mm. you've affirmed that to yourself that. but you've done so much Jackie mm. even on the comment section you'll see You know I think I was telling you I don't know if it's when we started before we rolled yeah. I I appreciate these conversations now mm. more Hata mm. sijui mimi nastaki kufuata cloud ama nini yeah. I'm just after tukae tuongee tuonge. yeah. tukae tu tuongee venye tu ita flow kabisa hivyo ndio yeah. but you've done amazing you. you've done Asante so sana. so so good Thank you. you have no idea I really appreciate that yes. coming from you because yes. I love what you do I I appreciate what you do. Yeah. Oh, piganga story na watu hapa, you guys break down, I break down wherever yeah. I am. You know, and you look at the resilience of humans. The resilience that of part. humans that they pick themselves up from where they were and they are, you know, they are walking step after another, step after another yes. and it's not easy but wanajiambia, you know, That is what it is. God. That is what it is. And yes. I wish we had that. I wish those more love in humans. I wish those more love in humans because the world is broken somewhere. Mm. The world is definitely broken somewhere. Mm. And the only thing that's going to bring it back is love. It's love. Io kitu io 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 the greatest I think it's the greatest commandment that upende jirani yako like you love yourself mm. imagine how utawai kosea mtu yes how utawai kosea mtu ukika hivi useme okay so mi, mimi nikafanywa hivyo nitafurahia imagine how utakosea mtu mm. that is the greatest command that is the commandment that should drive the world yes yeah that is it yeah but i feel you know i i, I was hosting one guest here and she said we also must speak up mi kwanza sasa nimeona sijui waki troll shiro sijui pia mi sasa niende ni post something about mm. her mm. so that now we equalize mm. because i feel like we are giving air time to people who are so negative exactly. that the people who are positive mm. are also keeping quiet 
because mm. they fear nikiongea pia mimi but eh. we have to counter these things also oh, yes. we have to raise yeah. our voice we yeah, have to yeah. be at the forefront yeah. countering these people yes. because if we don't speak mm. imagine it's just a small percentage of people who are making people feel like they are nothing it's true you have 2% of small. the world yes. making 98% of the people feel like crap blame the 98% yeah. because when they see the 2% happening they will not use their voice mm. and then we live in a world where we make it look like the 2% are winning mm. where they should not be winning well ma well majority is the 98%, the 98% that is with her that is with her you know yeah. so we got to raise our voice also I totally we have agree. to go out there and just hey, hey, stop i agree we will not let you continue doing I this agree. to people we will True. not let you continue trolling people yeah. enough is enough yeah. i feel like we need now to step up and be like na am taongea pia yeah hata si tutumie bundles tutumie pia sisi unajua kwa sababu sasa naona nika una bundle nika wifi yako iko weak you know nika wifi yako iko weak yao ndio iko strong yao ndio iko strong yao ndio wanatumia hiyo yao yes i know tit for tat is not but martin luther king said the world it's mm. not because of the badness of those people yeah. it's the silence of the good, the good people. people when yeah. a good person is silent the damage is more i agree yeah that, is, that is deep it, eh? it ha That's i'll make really it my deep. mantra please do i mean i will please make do. it my mantra yeah. that when you talk yeah. imagine my voice will also be, be heard yeah. because by me remaining silent at any class Of course mm. there is a mature way of handling things mm. but can you imagine and I think I'll even go and do it right now on my Instagram I've been feeling a burden yeah. for Shiru mm. I've been feeling like imagine if she saw the 2% who yeah, are saying this yes. and then saw the 98% saying good things you can imagine how it would encourage her imagine how it would encourage her why yeah. are we quiet yeah why are we quiet true that you That's really you get deep, it eh? yeah cuz yeah. in ah, saingine pia inabidi tuweke mm. tu sauti yetu kidogo kidogo yeah. alafu tunyama not for like not for clout not for yeah. anything yeah. but for people to know yeah. if i say this jackie is coming to check me exactly and she i'll delete the i'll delete this that's how we win i agree if you ask me Wow. Sini kweli. Yeah. Tusinyamaze wow. pia sana. Kweli, juu tunanyamaza. Tu, tunanyamaza nayo tunanyamaza but me, I'll make it my mantra. Yeah. Me, even if people don't come and defend me, I'll go out there and use my voice Your for voice. the person that needs yeah. it at that particular moment. Oh, and there are so many people who so do. Many there are so who many do. people who do. You know? Yeah. This world is uh, it's a bit it's a bit twisted mm. and sometimes all it takes is just something like that. Just that. It's just something like yes. that. Yes, see social media yeah. can talk about yeah. yeah. na yeah. Acha tutupatane basi hapo. You know the other day I went for a comedy show. Yeah. Nilikuwa nimeenda kwa show ya a colleague of mine and a friend mm. called MC Tricky. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was very interesting. Then mm. um say he came on to stage. It was a stand up comedy. And uh, when he came on to stage jokes zake mingi zilikuwa zina hata. So what was so funny was alikuwa anaangalia audience sema eh hiyo ni kai imehata. So we laugh akisema hiyo imehata sema what? Haya ya wacha ningangane mitafuti ingine. Ah sasa hii tawafanya mcheke. <laughs> then he says it then people don't laugh that much then he looks like wow 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 imebounce. Hey, hiyo pia imehata. For me that was the comedy. So when he left stage eventually when he left So I was called on to stage and I said I've really had a good time and I loved this artist and I mentioned him. He was not there. So when I went back to the crowd he came and he found me. He told me hi I really admire you. And you know I saw him I'm like you did an amazing job is like no imagine when you were mentioning my name I was in the toilet crying. Oh. That is what he told me. I told him now that is your niche. Unaona hivyo vile unasema he he imehata hiyo hapo ndio mali strength yako iko hiyo ndio joke eh hey, na imagine mimi nilisema nilisema kabisa usendi sema mimi wewe msee amenibamba yes. na hizo vile alikuwa sema damn eh hey, ako pia kama hata mimi alikuwa ananimaliza na hiyo mm. nikamwambia now now create your jokes around that you are amazing that was really really good akaniambia yake now i'm going to the toilet to cry but now i'm going to cry tears of joy there you yeah, go you could believe that you know but you can imagine angefanya hivyo asema mwambie ah wewe kwenda huko hata ufai kuku hapa ama kaunge nyamaza yeah. why are you breaking someone's spirit what do you gain from it 
by just breaking someone. You wewe tu una breaking kitu watu. You are the devil. You are not different from yule shetani susema ni huyo. There's nothing as bad as breaking a human spirit. When you break someone's spirit, you have killed them. Don't kill someone. Don't kill someone. Be that person that holds them wakianguka. You know, you want to kick someone when they're already down. Why? Hold his hand and pick him up. Yes. You know. Yes. That is the greatest thing you can do on this earth. Good. Yeah. I love that's our yeah. take home. Yeah. Don't be about breaking people's spirits. spirits. Yeah. Leave them. You see this yeah. show had to happen. Yeah. You see this show has served its purpose. It, it has. Imagine it the has. number of people who will just pose us at yeah. that to think nilikuwa ni comment hivi hata kwa issue. Yeah. Let me no, let me not. Let me not. Let yeah. me not, you know. Yeah, Appreciate you mama. Yeah. And thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's been have me again. Uh, yes. <laughs> like i'll have you i'll have you on my panel discussions i'll have you i'll i'll just like be there na, na struggle na yeah, hi, yeah, na hi, na hi, even yeah. off camera I i'm know. gonna you know and you are just as beautiful uh, here you. as you are Asante. out there Asante. Asante. so may god bless you thank you whatever you are working at whatever dreams you have whatever desires you have if it's according to his will may they come true amen you know amen. you are legendary Asante. and you deserve it and you've earned it thank you so get, much unaona venye watu wanapewa ukoma oscar sijui nini nini hata mm. isipokuja yeah. you know it i know it you know who you are oh, yes. you know oh, you are yes. good oh, yes. you get it eh? yeah. tumaliza hii kitu thank you tumaliza ubu ambia mafans wangu yeah. since sponsor wa leo pia yeah. au ninafanya kazi kabisa waende wani watch hiyo show sponsor inaitwa sponsor tumesema ni multi choice ni multi choice uh, wa watch hiyo show inaitwa haki mwitu Hakimwitu. Yeah, it premiered uh, by the time we are airing this it will have premiered. Mm -hmm. Why and why watch the details on Haki? the screen. Hakimwitu. Hakimwitu. It's a show. Hey, okay. go on. This is Jackie Nyaminde. I'm so glad to have been here. This show has been sponsored by Multi Choice, okay? And make sure that you watch Hakimwitu, all right? That will be premiering today. Yes. On this day. Yes. All right? Yes. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you. Ah, <laughs> 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 invoice yangu ikuja stack balance. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, thank you so much. And hakuna haja kuongeza. Yeah. But again, where I know people can find you on your social handles. Yes. But jiseme ndio wasiseme ah, niliwapea okay. the wrong okay. ones. Mm. Vile lina amesema mm. 1 million. Hata <laughs> mimi pia nikivika tu kwa hiyo 1 million. Ubaya iko wapi? All right? So my social handles yes. all you have to do is just write at nyaminde at nyaminde that is on uh, uh, Instagram on uh, Facebook yes on uh, Twitter mm -hmm. on TikTok. TikTok although I'm not so big on TikTok because hey, the speed yes the speed the, TikTok moves at the speed <laughs> of light <laughs> my knees cannot handle <laughs> But I really appreciate each and every person yes. who follows me, each and every person who appreciates what I do, uh, the videos I post, the photos that I post, every single comment that comes my way. I do not take it for granted because I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for you. Yes. So thank you so much. Most welcome. Yeah. Ah, I love you. <laughs> 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 uh, guys, thank you for watching. God, what's your what's your take home from the conversation? I would love to know what a show, what a soul, a lot of grace in her. And I hope, I hope wherever you are, no matter how you are feeling, you get to look at her story and you get to learn something. And you get to say, you know, no matter what, I can always start again. And don't let anyone push you down. Sawa, sawa. I appreciate you. Her handles are here on the screen. Hakimuitu is also showing, guys. The details are also on your screen. And we'll also pin on the comment section where you can be able to watch it. And I appreciate you guys for always coming through. May we not be silent may we also learn from other people's stories they keep saying our wise person learns from other people's stories mm -hmm. you don't have to go and do the same thing just learn alafu skip your steps sasa cuz you've learned you don't have to keep repeating ndio pia wewe kumoja upeane story na kaa kuna kitu imekugusa hapa na unaona it's time for me to stop doing what i've been doing and just step up do it sawa sawa i appreciate you i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 10 a and thank you for always subscribing this show is dedicated to charlie may you continue resting with the angels god bless